Before you begin working with luminosity masks, it's a good idea to set up a custom luminosity masking workspace within Photoshop. Photoshop allows us to set up custom workspaces and it also comes with several default workspaces. My own custom workspace is fairly similar to one of the Photoshop default workspaces with my toolbox on the left, my navigator and histogram panels on the right with the layers and channels panels located below that, and several other panels I use frequently minimized here. However, when we're working specifically with luminosity masks, having the layers and channels panel located in the same place isn't as efficient as it could be because we're going to be using both of those panels frequently and having to switch back and forth between them all the time becomes a little bit cumbersome. So I would recommend taking the channels panel, separating it out, and placing it in between the layers and the navigator. And I can move the navigator up a little bit and move my layers down a little bit to give that channels panel a little bit more breathing room. And once I have that set up how I want it, I can now go to New Workspace and call this workspace Luminosity Masking or whatever works for you and say OK. Then I can go back to my personal workspace and bring that Channels panel back down here where I want it. And now that I have that set, I can switch back and forth between my luminosity masking workspace and my Sean's personal workspace very easily. And the luminosity masking workspace allows me to access both the channels and the layers at the same time. And that's really going to be beneficial to us as we are working with various luminosity masking techniques. So I would recommend setting up a custom luminosity masking workspace within Photoshop so that you can work most efficiently when you're doing your luminosity masking.